everyone. Today I'm making air fryer chicken katsu with curry. So hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Most Koreans eat their curry with beef, potatoes, carrots, and onions over rice. You start off by cooking your cubed cuts of beef, then chopped potatoes and carrots while adding your onions and finishing it off by adding some water and maybe some milk with your curry package. I'm just making the quick easy version today to go with our chicken katsu. So let's start by boiling some water following the instructions on your favorite curry package. I'm using this brand in the pick right here. You can find these in different spice levels but I got mild for my kids. You'll see when you open the package they are in large cubes like chocolate bars. You can just break them into pieces and throw them into your pot. Choose your favorite veggies but now I'm going to add some frozen veggies to mine one cup of peas and carrots, and another cup of just corn. All I'm doing now is letting it simmer and mixing this up until my curry melts. It has to have a smooth consistency. You'll know your curry is done when you have a thicker sauce that's really smooth without any chunks of curry left in it. See how thick the sauce is? You have the option of serving this as is. Just grab a bowl of rice and place your curry on top. But we're making air fryer chicken katsu. So all you need are these three ingredients. Start off by placing your chicken into the flour and just coating it lightly on all sides. Do the same thing with the egg. With your panko, make sure you really push it all in there. That's why we have the egg yolk on there. We're gonna really get that panko on top of it, underneath it, all over it, really getting into it just to make sure the panko sticks onto the egg yolk and the chicken. Now I went ahead and sprayed my basket with some canola oil just in case because I don't want my panko to stick to it. Every air fryer is different. Mine says to cook it at 400 degrees for 15 to 22 minutes. So check your air fryer before you begin. So while that's cooking, I'm going to repeat the process for the rest of my chicken. This is also a great time to make as many of these as you can to freeze and make ahead for later. Just lay down some parchment paper and roll your chicken into it as tightly as you can. Then you're gonna grab a piece of saran wrap and roll that up as well. And finally, place it in a sealed baggie. So you're just gonna make sure you get all the air out, pushing it all out, and just throw this into the freezer until you're ready to use them. It's been about seven minutes now, so I'm going to open this up and flip it to finish cooking for the remainder of the time. Once that's done, all you have to do is plate it however you'd like. If you like this recipe, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Watch me cook.